It's really lovely to be in uh, this bit of Somerset. It is completely different to anywhere I uh, come from and my constituency couldn't be any more different. You are looking incredibly dapper, sir. It's just natural. It's just yeah. natural. You're just a natural. That's what you get in North East Somerset. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. The reason I think it's important that I come here is because if the Labour Party is ever going to win a general election again, we have to win seats like this that we have won before and understand what went wrong for us in, in the towns and the, and the countryside. I was raised in, in, in no uncertain terms to hate Taurus. Oh, OK. <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> Hate, like it's right. a swear word. It was so a swear word. You're, 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 you're all right in the car. <laughs> I'm all right. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, not to put too fine a point on it, my father would have been happy if I'd married anyone. Had I married a Tory, you'd have been well, you'd that, have been disinherited anyway. Uh, that, yes, an inheritance. <laughs> that would have been completely anathema. <laughs> I did vote Conservative. Don't worry, I'm not a fan. But, <laughs> but, but thank you very much. <laughs> That's fine. So the Labour Party has to do that now talk to those people's they aspirations. Have to, they have to talk to people with aspirations, yeah. yeah. At the moment, in the Labour Party, obviously, we're going through a big uh, change and electing a new leader. I'm and a bit worried about that. You're a bit worried. In what way are you worried? Well, I think uh, Jeremy's a bit too far to the left. You're quaking Coburn's going to get in, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> are, you are you a Corbyn man? Well... It'd be nice to see a bit of opposition. Oh, I see what you're saying, I see what you're saying. What's happening at the moment with Jeremy Corbyn uh, will make a big difference. You think it will make you want to vote Labour? Possibly. Or... And so you work in the NHS? Yeah. And um, obviously the Labour Party in the last election talked about the NHS near constantly, it seemed to me, and that didn't yeah, appeal to you. so did Conservatives as well. OK. So. Mr Cameron promised to raise the inheritance tax level. OK. And a lot of people, before it was only very wealthy people that went into that band, yes. but now a lot of just ordinary Normal people, people yeah. have, have hit Me? that band, yeah. I think it's very good if Jeremy Corbyn gets in. Why is that? Because uh, they'll never be elected in my lifetime, I suspect. What, the Labour Party? The Labour Party. Well, if he does get in, I should imagine if he, they didn't get elected, he wouldn't last more than five years. I hope you've got more than five years of your lifetime left. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> All right, I hope so, sir. So do I. It's very interesting what people were saying, because we hadn't set them up to say things. No. <laughs> but they were saying exactly, exactly. what... That, that Labour wasn't appealing to people with aspiration. Yes, and and yeah. one man said it absolutely directly, using those words. Yeah. The next lady basically said that without that terminology. The same kids who grew up on the same estates in my constituency where my parents grew up. I, I, I'm not entirely sure that they're going to end up being professors of astrophysics like my uncle um, is and he's from, you know, a prefab on the council right. estate. But of course to go to your school, you don't have to be clever, you just have to be rich. <laughs> <laughs> Surely. Or is there a test? I don't know. There might well be a test. There, 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 there is a test. I mean, I didn't think I'd get into Eton anymore, because oh, really? when I was there, you, you could get in as long as your parents could pay the fees. And nowadays, you do have to be clever. Oh, you do have to be clever You do now, oh, but right, you didn't okay. when I was there. When I was there, it was easy. <laughs> what a they let anybody in when what, I was what there. What a convenience. That's how I got there. <laughs> Where are we going, Daddy? We're going to a place called Magna. True Magna. True Magna. I think it won the Sunday Times uh, most attractive village in the oh. country contest a couple of years ago. I ima imagine you don't have much of a methadone outreach programme in Chew Magna for uh, heroin addicts. No, so, not no. so much. They're uh, very expensive. Yeah. You have to do it abroad and you have to look at yes, like, yes, I agree. massive oh, mansions in My Spain. father was the same, he would always look <laughs> at us, wherever to, we were. Wherever and we and were. That, is, that is truly aspirational, yeah. isn't it? I used to go and stay in One Lawrence Road, yes. um, which yes. is... Uh, where Nanny was born. Yes, when you yes. say Nanny, you don't mean your mum's mum? I don't. I mean no, Nanny, who nanny. Yes. has looked after the family oh. for 50 years oh. come oh. September. Like the dog in yes. Peter Pan. Do you want to hold my hand? Because we'll get across. I think we can get across for this lorry. Yeah. We don't want to create two by elections, <laughs> do we? <laughs> so, do you think that the Labour Party could ever win in this area? Why vote for those then? Yay! Uh, oh, I knew you looked sane. I think that nationalising the railway is, is something that. Uh, yeah, that's a. That's a big tick for you. Big tick around here. So, yeah. Okay, so Definitely. around here, you think nationalising things would be a big tick? That's really interesting. So, Holman Preston soldiers. The next leader. Um, 
it's a contentious subject. I'm supporting Yvette Cooper. I think she has the best chance of winning the next election. Also, as a feminist, I will look around if it's declared that two men have won the leadership and deputy leadership. Whether they're great, whether they're brilliant, but I will feel a little bit less like the Labour Party's for me. And if the Tories have done it, why can't we do it? The big argument that Jeremy Corbyn is this brand new, isn't he all singing, all dancing, could have changed the world. He's a white man from London. Yes. <laughs> I mean... Who's been in Parliament for 30 years. For 30 years and has he... never had another job. Isn't this the thing we've all been saying for ages that we didn't like? You'd serve under him. You're not one of those who wouldn't serve no, under him. No, I would from... serve under him. It's, it's very difficult to basically... And if you won by a huge amount, I... You know, it's like me slapping the face of the activists who helped get me where I am to say that they're all wrong and they're all stupid. It completely mystifies me that Liz Kendall isn't way ahead, that she seems to me to be the one who has the ability to appeal to the type of person that Tony Blair appealed to. Liz Kendall, um, it, in my opinion, harps back to the past just as much as um, Jeremy Corbyn does. It's just a more recent past. Well, this is uh, Radstock. Radstock was the coal mining centre, really, of North East Somerset. It was the heart, the beating heart of the Labour Party with the Working Men's Club. I was always Labour all my life. Oh, because my grandfather was Labour, uh, and my father was Labour, and my father was a coal miner. So you used to be a Labour man. You are a traditional yeah. Labour man. In the yeah. 80s, you were a Labour man. Yeah. In the 90s, you were a Labour man. Yeah, yeah. Labour all my life. So you've yeah. been Labour no, all your life. So no. how do you feel about the Labour leadership? I'm not, been, I'm not very happy with Corin. So you don't want it to be Jeremy yeah, Corbyn, no, even though not. you are, uh, you know, foot, you're a working left. class I'm man not, from a mining but extreme, town. But not extreme left. I, I can't see him being able to balance the books. I'm sure Jeremy Corbyn is a, is a lovely, great, principled man. By all accounts, he's a very, very nice man, but I don't think he can win in places like this. But do you really want to win in places like this, or...? Does the socialist in you want to maintain a purity that is so fine and spotless that appealing to Tories is a bit of a sellout? If sure. I could have a pure socialist ideology and win in seats like this, you can bet your bottom dollar I would take that chance. But I'm a pragmatist and that's just simply not going to happen. But if I could, you know, I, I could nationalise every single inch of this place, I would. But in the meantime, you'll be a Blairite. <laughs>